What's going on guys, in this video I want to show you how to send an email from your Arduino and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So I created a sketch here and I will give you a link to the sketch in a moment. But uh, let's go ahead and see how this works. So I'm going to open the serial monitor window. And whenever I type the words send it, I will be able to send an email. Now from time to time I'm going to be moving away from the monitor window because I have some uh, my emails, password and uh, usernames that I don't want you to see so but anyways when you get to when the serial monitor window says type send it to send an email all you have to do is type send it and press enter so in my right here I have my gmail account open this is where I'm receiving the emails and um, but on my the email that I'm using to send emails is actually a Time Warner account and the reason why I'm using Time Warner is because the library or the example that I have only works with unencrypted email and Time Warner offers that option so I type send it press enter and I get more debugging stuff on my serial monitor window and you just have to wait until it says done and that's when it has sent the email so notice here that it says done and I get my email so this is the email where I'm sending it from and I'm receiving to my gmail account so now that you know how this works and of course you can type send it again and it'll send another email but uh, let me go ahead and close the window for now and show you how the code works so you can modify it for your own projects. So of course you have to enter your network and password names, the email where you're sending the mail from like I said Gmail will not work. Uh, in the case of my the email that I'm using which is Time Warner, all I had to do was google the SMTP host name and the port that I need so that'll be going to the host name so in this case instead of here instead of what I have here I would put this text in there and my port is 587 this is where you want to send the emails to and of course the email subject and the body Next, what you have to do is you have to base64 encode your email. So to do that, you go to this website. You copy your email here and paste it in this text box. Press encode. And simply copy this text, all of it. and paste it in your email from base and code and you're gonna have to do the same thing for your password and you would paste that in your base 64 password defined so these are the only settings that you have to change. You don't have to worry about anything else. Anything else should be should work fine. But I do have some links here if you want to know how what commands I'm sending to my email server. But basically what I do is I connect to my email server then you have to send this hello command that's uh, all these commands are required then you send the login command the server is going to reply with the username so this actually says username if you decode it with base64 it'll say username so now it wants your username so then i send my username base64 encoded which is my email and the server is going to reply with the password query so now it wants the password so I send the password base64 encoded and it will reply with a 235 message I then send the uh, email where I want to send the emails to I mean where I'm sending it from which will be my own email 
Then this is where I say where I'm sending it to. Then uh, so once I'm done with the recipient and the mail from addresses, I tell it that I'm I'm actually going to start sending the data for the email. Now what I have to do is I have to send the header, and so the header looks pretty similar to what we did above, which is mail from. But uh, it is actually required, so even though it's the same thing, it's not redundant. It is required. Uh, if you don't, if you don't send a header, then Gmail will mark your email as spam. So we basically repeat the uh, similar commands. So this is the from, this is the to, this is the subject, and then we send the email content and end it with slash r slash n dot. And then we quit from the email server, close the TCP connection, print the done, print the done message, reset the flags that are required for this function to run. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you find this sketch useful. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, give you the uh, code. So I will be posting a link to my GitHub page in the description of this video once I upload this code. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.